Hey my darlings, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do Vintage or Tacky's Moondust Moonchild makeup tutorial. Only problem is I don't have the Moonchild or the Moondust palette, so we're gonna do a lot of things today. So she starts her tutorial off already with some brows, so I'll explain what I did with my brows before we get started into the eyes, because really the eyes are the focus today. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous look. So for my brows, I used the e.l.f. brow pencil. I don't even have a color. It's just a dark brown. I also used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Beauty Express for brows and eyes. Mine is beat up, so I'm not even going to show it to you. But there is a dark brown color in there, and that is what I used. And then I also used to set my brows with Clear Brow Gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills as well. You guys will see it right here on the screen and yeah so let's just do this and then for my primer i use my handy dandy absolute favorite primer of all time it's really at the moment uh, this is the urban decay eyeshadow primer in enigma not only is this a fabulous primer which provides both color coverage and sort of a little bit of color correction to even out the the skin and the eyelid one of my favorite things about this is that it benefits the violet edge which is the urban decay uh, foundation that helps empower women all over the globe Okay, so I don't have that one, but I do have the Urban Decay uh, original. Actually, this is the anti-aging one. So, and she blends hers out with a brush. I usually use my finger, so I'm just gonna grab a little fluffy brush and blend that out. So, I'm gonna be looking down, because my mirror is down here. You guys know the drill. Mine is a lot less pigmented than hers. I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna blend that all over my lid. All right, primer is on. So getting us started today, I'm gonna use my Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm gonna dip into Love Letter. Okay, I have that palette right here. Here's my palette and let's get into this. Which might be one of the loveliest eyeshadows I've ever used. And I'm using that on a MAC 217, and I'm just going to ride that right in my crease line. This eyeshadow is fabulous. Not only is it incredibly pigmented, I mean, I just picked up a little bit of it, and it's still turning out just beautiful, uh, but it blends really well. I find some red eyeshadows can be a little bit on the patchy side, a little difficult to blend. And this one is more of like a berry red, but nevertheless, it just blends like a dream. All right, so we're gonna take Love Letter, like she said, and a 217, and we are going to blend that into our crease. All right, we have Love Letter in the crease. So to blend that out just a little bit more, I'm gonna take Makeup Forever M816. This is a matte eyeshadow. I think it's called like Rosewood or something, I don't know. It's a perfect complement to this other shade. It's just great for blending it out and acting as a transition between the crease and the highlight. Okay, so I have looked through my arsenal. I do not have that shade. And I did find in the Crimson Amulet Collection inspired by the movie Dark Shadows, I found a blush in here that kind of reminded me of what she had there which it might be a little bit too light, but it's the closest thing I have. So we're gonna go ahead and get that on my brush and we're gonna go ahead and I love Cora. Actually, why it looks like this? Uh, when you sanitize your makeup really often, sometimes it doesn't really stay so nice looking. But anyway, so using the same brush that I've used for all the other colors today, this is still the Mac 217. In fact, actually, this might be the Sigma version of it. I don't really know anymore. The label's worn off at this point. Uh, speaking of old things, so I'm just blending this right over where we applied the other colors. And okay. Again, another color I do not have. However, I'm gonna go into Urban from the uh, Urban Decay Electric Palette. And just like she did, I'm gonna rock it. 
in my socket. People out there might be saying, isn't that a little counterintuitive? Well, the Poison Plum is a very medium purple, but it can start to sort of go to like a very cool toned color if it's blended with the right or wrong things depending on how you want it. So by having a warm color down first as a base for it, it really helps to warm it up and keep it really, really just, oh, I mean, look at that. Yes. All right, I don't have Poison Plum, but Urban from the uh, Electric Palette worked perfectly. All right, so I'm actually gonna pick up a little bit more of Love Letter on a clean 217 and then use that to blend up the edges of the purple shadow. Okay, I don't have a clean 217, but I will use a similar type brush from Wet n Wild. It's very similar. So, I'm going to go back in with some Love Letter, like she says, and use that to blend out that purple. Alright, so probably like a little bit of a hot mess right now but trust I do recommend sort of checking back at base camp one which is your nose straight at your mirror but definitely you want to check out the different angles see what's happening for my highlight today I'm gonna to be taking a Mac 252 which is a nice wide flat brush and temper eyeshadow from the modern Renaissance palette we're gonna go into just gonna place that underneath okay I'm not sure why I'm calling it renaissance and you renaissance. haven't been watched it on my other because that's how Ted Mosby pronounces it and every time he does I laugh <laughs> so what I do is I lay down the color first with the 252 and then I take a fluffier sort of angled brush here and I'm going to use that to blend in between the highlight and the crease colors, but I don't actually want to like bring that highlight color down in. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and blend between. Now for the lid work, I'm going to use a base from LA Girl. This is the Pro Primer. This is a fabulous base. It's nice and sticky without being too greasy. It's gonna go ahead and place this all over my lid. Okay, so she is using one I do not have. I'm going to go ahead and use um, the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Black Bean as my base on my lid. I'm going to start out just putting it in the center, but I'm going to sort of blend it a little bit out from there, so just kind of smush it on the center. That looks so creepy. <laughs> okay, so she smushes it on the center. Oh my god, my internet's not working. Ugh! Okay, so I didn't realize that my phone was not recording anymore. So, the last thing I put on my eyes before I got to this glorious look um, was the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. I placed it on the lid, blended that out with um, my MAC 239. Okay, and then on top of that, in each of the inner corners, I used uh, Lunatic Cosmetic Labs, this first color. I'm not entirely sure what the name of it is. I will link it below. I'm so mad that that did not record anything that I just did. Ugh. Anyway, so in the inner and outer third is that color, okay? And then, uses uses something that I do not have, and so I use the Jessie's Girl Eye Dust. And basically, I tapped it on the in the center of each of my lids, and then she decides that she doesn't like the um, inner and outer colors, so she goes in with um, Mac Contrast. And so that's where we're at right now is the Mac Contrast. I am so sorry. <laughs> oh, this is so frustrating. So we have cleaned up the fallout. Okay, we are moving on to foundation. And foundation, she uses stuff that I do not have as well. So I'm gonna do my makeup off camera for the sake of just 
how much time is going to take for me to do that. So I apologize. And um, yeah, <sighs> this is so frustrating. I followed her steps exactly. So her video will be linked in here, obviously. Um, and we're not done. We're not done. We have the under eye. We have the face. So I'm going to go put my foundation on and I will see you guys back here when I have that on. Bye. A MAC 242 brush and I'm just going to sweep that or blend that a little bit and it's going to look a little bit more gray in tone which is exactly what we want. So for the inner corner here, I'm going to take a Makeup Forever eyeshadow, N928. This is a really beautiful purpley burgundy shade. I'm using a MAC 219 brush to apply this to the inner part of my lower lid and the outer part of my lower lid as well. So what I'm going to use today is this gorgeous one called Galaxy, which is a beautiful bluish green. And I'm just going to use my finger to apply it. So pick that up on my finger and I'm pressing that into the base that we applied earlier. Let's pick up that 242 from earlier to blend just lightly. I do feel the need to pump up the volume a little bit on my Poison Plum, so I'm going to do that now with the 217 from earlier. So come in, let her presence be known. On this outer and inner corner, I thought I was going to go in with more of a burgundy eyeshadow, but I've changed my mind. I'm going to use Max Contrast because Max Contrast eyeshadow makes everything better. So I'm placing that over where I had that burgundy eyeshadow earlier. And it's just going to be like this little smoky midnight situation. All right, guys, foundation is on. I'm still mad. <laughs> We're moving on. For Black Eyeliner today, I'm using one from Lancome called Noir Intense. And I'm going to use this to tight line both top and bottom. Okay, so basically she puts it on. And then I'm just taking a little Q tip to blend that out on the bottom so that it's not all funky and sort of left rough looking. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna do the rest of this off camera. Oh, so, I'm back. All right, the black is on and smudged out. I'm going to be a base for putting on the sparkly eyeshadows on the bottom. So taking a small eyeshadow brush, I'm gonna go ahead and get back into my Moon Dust palette. I'm gonna use Element, which is such a gorgeous color. It has such an intense color flash between orange peach and fiery pink. So I'm picking that up on a small brush and I'm going to press that into the liner that's on my lower lash line but trying to not press it into the <laughs> liner that's in my waterline. Okay so basically underneath um, I'm going to make my line a little bit bigger. Hers looks a little bit bigger than mine does so I'm going to smudge some more under my eye. Okay. Got a little bit more there. Now, I don't have that color or that palette. We've already established that. So I'm gonna go in with this Jessie's Girl. It's called Sunset Boulevard. I'm gonna go ahead and bake underneath my eye because um, the fallout from this stuff is, is not pretty, so. Okay, I'll use this little brush right here. And I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of this color and pray that it looks good. Oh, here it goes. So what I'm going to do is first start with Love Letter and a Smith Cosmetics 253. And this is an arrowhead shape brush. We're just going to use one side of it. And we're going to softly blend out around that black liner that is now covered with the glitter. Okay, I have an arrowhead brush. And which color did she say, Love Letter? Yeah, let's say the only one we really used. So she's using one side of it. We're gonna go and smoke that out. Does she go all the way? And what we're trying to do is sort of marry this top area with the bottom. And you may even need to pick up more of the poison plum. Because it's it's you can really see the difference now. Well, I mean, you can probably see the difference before, but it's a very cool tone purple. 
How it far? It needs to blend in with the love letter. So then to make the, the glittery shades a little bit more intense, I'm going to pick up a little bit of the Ila Mosca Sealing Gel on a Smith 203 brush. Go back into the Moon Dust palette. And I'm just going to use the side of Element, just like one little area. Whatever you want to use. Okay, well, I'm going to just marry, like she said. an eyeshadow wet or with some sort of mixing medium you want to sort of pick a spot to use it with that so that you're not ruining the entire eyeshadow because occasionally a crust can develop and this brush is really really fine so I'm just going to press this and it's going to make the color so much more intense right over that liner and you can blend it out a little bit okay so we're going to be using the Sunset Boulevard color again, and now we're going to be using it wet. So I'm going to put a little bit in the lid, and I don't have what she's using, so I'm going to use this e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set, and see what happens. <laughs> Taking Pink Heart, which is probably the, one of the most normal ones. It's a nice pink iridescence. Okay, for pink iridescent, I decided I was going to go into my Physician's Formula nude, Warm Nude uh, Highlight little palette thing here. I honestly don't know which color to use, but I'm going to go in probably with this like light pinky one here or this one, one of those two. So maybe I'll mix them. I'm just going to do a pretty thin line, so I'm going to use Perversion Waterproof Fine Point Eye Pen. I don't know if this is different from the original liquid liner. It's been so long since I've used it. This does seem like a much finer point than what I recall anyway. I could just be remembering it wrong. Okay, so she just puts a thin line. I'm going to go ahead, I believe that the shadow parts are done. I'm going to go ahead and clean my face off. And I'm going to do the liner on the upper lash line. Okay, the top little liner is on. I'm going to bust out with my eyelash torture device. Come on, lashes is squeezy poo. A new mascara came in the mail. This is the DJV Marae. This is essentially fiber wig. All right, so I'm gonna use the Marcel Curling and Lengthening Mascara Extension Plus Curl. Anyway, moving on. Same, and it's a little bit more of these delicious sparkly eyeshadows. I took a little bit of magnetic, which looks really intensely pigmented here, but again, these don't have a lot of actual pigment. They're really just really, really densely packed glitter. I'm gonna use that same brush that I used for my highlight, or my, yeah, my inner corner highlight, and I'm gonna go into this Jessie's Girl pigment called Secret Weapon. So I'm either going to put this on and it's going to work or I'm going to bust out with um, Reflex Blue from MAC. We'll see. Well, it's more blue, which I like better than the pink. But a Reflex Blue from MAC, which is a beautiful, can't even. <laughs> so I'm just going to dip in with my pinky finger. You can see the color on there. You can see the glitter and just tap that in my inner corner. My camera sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do my contour today. I'm gonna use my NYX Taupe Blush. You guys know I love this stuff. So I'm going to apply this as my contour. 
as you do. Okay, that was very quick. Um, I'm just gonna use my Wet n Wild um, Mega Glow Contouring Kit um, or palette, and you can see it is well loved. But I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with the contour. For blush today, I'm going to use the Afterglow blush from Urban Decay. This is fetish. I do not have that, so I'm going to go in with Savvy in Blushing Mauve. This sort of a good color that can ride between warm and cool. Occasionally, I'll use this that looks too cool depending on what I'm wearing with. Uh, but today, it's just going on nice and neutrally. It's sort of right in between. In fact, it even almost looks a little bit warm, probably based on just everything else around it. And my hair is also kind of warming up the situation. Blend that onto the cheek. It does most of the work for you. And, and I go back with mine. Oh, so excited. I'm going to use my Wayne Goss fan brush, which is a big fan of the sand brush. <laughs> great. I feel like today is the day that would be appropriate to use the green. So. Okay. Don't have that one. But I do have something that I've been wanting to try, and I don't know if it's going to work or not. But it is the rainbow highlighter from wet and wild and i'm gonna try my hardest to use this and get the green only the green and we'll see what happens okay you guys i got green uh oh i'm getting some blue on there too let me wipe that off I wish y'all could see this. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna blend some of that blush in a little bit. That's what I love about a kabuki brush. Blend some of that green highlight down. Yeah. <laughs> Clover with my Wayne Goss fan brush. And I'm just going to dust that right here. And then blend it down a little bit like Core is so freaking pretty. So right there, on the Just that right there, and then brings and then it down. Sort of curve it down a little bit. Curve it down. And then, you know, for shits and giggles, let's go ahead and just. This is beautiful because it has that greenish tint to it. This is also another way to maybe combat some redness, a little color correction with your highlight, because why not? <laughs> lips. So, when it comes to lips. Okay, so. She busts out with this green one, and she also does a red one. But I just got my Storybook Cosmetics Wizardy and Witchcraft ones. And I thought, what better opportunity? Since she does a green lip, what better opportunity did you a green lip? Ooh. That's pretty. Not bad for a chick who hasn't worn makeup in a few weeks. So that is the look. OMG. I am loving this. Okay. So basically that is the end of her tutorial. And I love this. This is such a pretty look. What do you guys think? I'm loving this lipstick, but I'm very sad that it did not record everything. Um, I'm sorry about that guys, but I did follow her tutorial. So Please, please, please go support Cora. She is an awesome, awesome YouTuber. She's been around as I think as long as I have. And I actually did a, a trade with her. I don't remember what it was. I think I had paint only paint pot and like this was back in the makeup forum days. So it's been a minute. But anyway, I love Cora. Vintage or Tacky is her channel name. Please go subscribe to her. She is awesome, awesome, awesome. It's like a makeup tutorial burrito. Nom, nom, nom. All right. So I'll see you. I'm hungry, you guys. So anyway, I am going to go and take a bunch of pictures and yeah, just enjoy the fabulousness that was created by Cora and it is now on my face and I love it and I love you guys and I hope that you like and um, please subscribe if you do want to see more videos like this. I also make um, vegan food. I ramble. 
I do all kinds of stuff. So click that little subscribe button and you can see more of it. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. It's dinner time. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Remember to be vintage or tacky. Just be your own kind of beautiful.